somewhere in the skies above us that come from time to time, flaming disks and weird aerial phenomena. What are they? Whence have they come? Dr. Morris Avia, one of the leading aerodynamicists in the world, stated that in his opinion, they have originated elsewhere than the Earth and that they are artificially controlled. Yes, they could be craft from another planet or a development of enemy power. But whatever they are, they continue to cause a great deal of concern and controversy. And when we are tempted to say that they are just a fiction writer's dream, we must remember that Jules Verne once dreamed of exploring the ocean depths. And in time, we had the submarine. Leonardo da Vinci also prophesied that someday man would fly like a bird. Today, flying is commonplace. Even the atom bomb thrilled readers of fiction magazines before it became a reality. In fact, the author was so realistic in his description of a terrifying destructive force that he was investigated by the FBI, who thought he had gotten secret information from government laboratories. But now man dreams of limitless power to propel us into outer space where we can explore other worlds. So, while travel to another planet may seem highly imaginative to us today, in the year 2000, it may be commonplace. Here, for example, is a story of travel in the skies, visits to worlds in outer space, which may well be the blueprint of life to be lived in the years to come. Buddy. He's trying to weather the storm, but it has lost altitude and crashes in the mountains of the polar region. Centuries later, men from a scouting ship discover the wreck. They're in a perfect state of preservation. Must have been frozen since the ship crashed. Strange. Body's almost natural temperature. Let's get them out of here. This gas is making me drowsy. Well, uh, let me hold it. I wonder how fast we're going. About a thousand miles an hour at least. Polar Patrol calling operations office. Polar Patrol calling operations office. Operations office. Golly, they sure got in quick. Put this call through to scientist General Hewer. It is urgent. One moment. Go ahead. Captain Rankin speaking. We're approaching the city with two prisoners found in a dirigible. A dirigible? That's impossible. Such ships haven't been used since the 20th century. 20th century? What does he mean? I don't know. The ship was frozen on the tip of Bering Glacier. Prisoners were in a state of suspended animation when we found them. 